One of my favorite things in the world is the combination of music and animation. Something about like a quick series of shots of beloved characters and these little slices of life and dramatic moments cut to really emotionally intense music, like it just gets me every time. Fiction is really, really important in people's everyday lives. The stories that we tell ourselves and the stories that we bear witness to, they really inform the way that we see the world. And I think that ultimately like this song ended up becoming this synthesis of sad story scenarios and what I was going through in real life. I became close with this group of friends like right before the pandemic and the thing that sort of kept us together was everyone hanging out and playing League together. Once I actually grew to sincerely love the game and its world and Arcane, I was like, I want to do something. That was actually part of what spawned my interest in, in reaching out to Riot. I was like, I'd just really love to be involved in this world, especially musically. And so I think once we reached out, it was like an immediate, like, yes, what can we do? Actually, I think we have something that might be perfect for you with Star Guardian. So much of the League media is focused on how powerful the characters are and how tough they are and what it looks like when they're fighting. I felt like it'd be really cool for the players to be able to sort of get sentimental and feel a certain kind of like love for their characters and what their everyday lives might be like in the Star Guardian world. The idea that I had was when you take the oath to become a Star Guardian, you get to live this life as this hero, but everybody that knew you before will forget about you. So the lyrics of the song came from this perspective of the last night together and focusing on the tragedy of that. The way that I typically approach music is that I'll write a short instrumental section that hooks me. Like that's the thing I'm looking for first when I'm in the studio is like a nice little musical motif that I'm like, ooh, this is a world I want to explore further. In the case of this song, I chopped up this sample that created the initial hook that you hear in the beginning that goes. The thing I wanted to center a lot of the song around was the second line of the chorus, which is the part that's like. Don't look for me, I'm just a story been told um i just that that like that felt like such a big lyric to me because you feel the the love that's sort of inherent in that it's like it's like don't look for me but i know you're going to try to treat me as though you never knew me like it just it's the kind of thing that makes your ears perk up and go like what happened here so i typically tend to work in like total isolation i don't i don't bounce things off of people very often it was a different way of working for me, and I, I doubted at some points whether or not I was going to be able to come up with something that wasn't creatively compromised by the fact that I was working with a major game studio. That was really important to me. And uh, it was so great working with Brendan Williams from Riot. He just made really, really consistently good suggestions that moved the song to where it needed to be. When I'm first writing a song, I'm auditioning several different choruses and like a bajillion different ideas for what, what, how the chorus might flow. It was such a struggle and for the longest time, I only had the first two lines. I rewrote the lyrics again and again and again and I ended up talking pretty significantly about somebody who I love and a struggle that they're going through right now. My fiance was just going through some really severe anxiety and uh, agoraphobia. It had just been really, really difficult for, for both of us. And I guess once I shifted the focus of the song from this imaginary scenario to what it's like when someone you love is really suffering and you're trying to help them through that, it just clicked. And that was when the magic for me reached 100% because 
I'm always chasing after complete sincerity. Like I feel full as an artist when I feel like I'm telling the truth. It's really, really hard for me to write about something that just doesn't resonate with me deep down as true. And I think that's because what I'm always trying to do in the studio is I'm trying to write my own favorite song. I'm really happy with the balance in the end. I want players to be like, this world is so cool and I've, I've had so many memories with this game and in this universe. A distillation of all the highs and lows and all the emotions you felt, all the memories you formed, all the friendships you had, all the times you got frustrated and all the times that you triumphed and the reason that you keep going. Life is like that too. And I think there's just like something extremely beautiful about seeing life in full view.